Welcome back to Good Day Orlando. In this morning's Money Watch, Americans are stressed out. A new poll shows more of them are plagued by financial anxiety this year than last. We're joined now by Joe Burt, the Oracle of Orlando. Joe, good morning. Good, good to morning, see you. you too. This is interesting because this poll reveals the differences between men and women when it comes yes. to financial yep. anxiety. How do the sexes vary when it comes to dealing well, with this? Well, the women are more anxious. I mean, you would think, you know, it's the mother bear kind of take yes. care of things, whereas men are doing their own thing and they kind of hope it all comes together. But the woman, because she's the nurturer, if you will, she's more concerned about it. Tends to take more of it on internally. Yes, yes. What are some of the factors contributing to financial anxiety? Well, student debt, you know, oh, it's student gosh. debt is over a trillion dollars today. It's, it has, it's got a crisis bigger than the real estate crisis. Wow. And kids are carrying that into into their working years and, and then parents are worried about it as well. And wages have been flat. Despite the low unemployment rate, wages are flat. Although I think that's going to be improving, they've been flat for a long time. So all of that combined yes, kind of uh -huh. lending itself to it. What yep. are some steps you recommend people take to lessen their financial worries? The most important thing is to, first of all, recognize your needs versus your wants. You know, it, sometimes it takes many, many years to understand what that's yeah. all about. Get those needs taken care of, put the wants aside, and start saving money for the future. You have to have a good handle on what you need to do. And unfortunately, they don't teach us this stuff in school. Yeah, why don't people pursue more financial planners? Simply because there's, I think there's two reasons, Andrea. Number one, they're fearful. You know, it's like you found the lump and you're afraid to go to the doctor yeah, to find out what it's about. True. You know, they're fearful of facing reality. Or secondly, they don't want to be embarrassed. And, and, you know, I have clients that are CEOs of major companies in town that you would know. And they come to us recognizing they need professional help. Everybody needs us because they don't. You know, I was an international business major. I studied corporate finance, business law, accounting, economics. All the things that you would think would prepare me to make good financial decisions. I didn't realize how ignorant I was until I had to start making them. Which is what's really got me into this career. It's shocking to realize that we don't learn just the basic elements of financial planning, yes. even in junior high or high school. Yes, I mean, even balancing a checkbook. Yeah. And, and of course, checkbooks are becoming passe, but it's understanding that stuff. The most important thing a person can do today is to put money into their 401k or their IRA. Maximize those contributions. If you're under the age of 50, the maximum you can put in is 18500 in your 401k. If you're over the age of 50, it's twenty four five. Strive for that goal. If you can do that, you're going to be far and ahead of 99% of the folks out there. It's like a money marathon. We really yes. have to pace ourselves because we got a long way to go. Well, yeah. <laughs> there was a great article in Thursday's Sentinel about retirement. People are retiring today too early. Oh. And we're living longer. A married couple today, age 65, married couple age 65, there's a high probability that one of them is going to live in their mid-90s. Wow. So that's a long time in retirement. It takes a lot of money to get there. And Social Security in and of itself isn't going to do it. The first thing to do is plan, know what you need to do, and then do it. The worst thing is to look back five or ten years from now and say, gee, I wish I would have known, or gee, I'm sorry I didn't. That's what we do day in and day out. The coulda, shoulda, woulda. Joe, gotta, always good to see you. Where can people find Just you? Just Google me two words, Joe Burt, B-E-R-T. That easy, Joe. Thank you. Thanks, Andrea. Great advice as always.